Hey Libra, I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on with you guys, Libra. Um, thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks. I am sending all that love and support back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's see, Libras. My beautiful, my handsome Librans. Let's tap into your energy. So what does Libra need to hear and know at this time? Clear messages. What is coming up for Libra? What do they need to be paying attention to? Okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Libra and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender, block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Excuse me, clear, concise, and precise messages for my Libras. And protect me as I channel the messages for Libra. I think my cat sees a spider over there He's trying to get it. It's his hardest to get the spider. Okay. So let's see, Libra. So past life karma, marriage. So there could be a past life connection coming in here, Libra. You could be marrying your past life soulmate. Something here was destined. It was written in the stars here between you and somebody. Hmm. Let's see what else. So congrats. Emotionally unavailable. Why? Why is somebody emotionally unavailable? Naughty pictures. So basically somebody just wants to fuck. Okay, they just... Okay, somebody just wants to have sex. They're depressed and having anxiety. This is why they can't do more than just want to have sex with you because they're depressed somewhere. Playing with fire. Someone loves to play with fire. Why? You could be dealing with the fire sign. Egotistic person. In reverse. So you're completely out of your ego here, Libra. Somebody here likes to get into mess. Like somebody just likes to deal with. Somebody just, I don't know. They like to get themselves into mess here. And you're completely out of your ego. So you don't have time for that. Whatever somebody's doing, what else? <clears throat> somebody's still in their ego and you're not. Yeah, gossiping and talking. Why? It's stubborn. This person is stuck in their ways. Oh, okay, bottom of the deck is night worker, Aries. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries that's a night worker. Evil eyes. Someone is wishing bad upon you. So whoever this is that they're dealing with, somebody could actually be hoeing. And this person is evil on you. With Aries here, that's if this is a distorted Aries, somebody is competitive. They're competing. Okay, Aries in the negative could be very impulsive. Yeah, look, Aries here. So I feel like somebody is stubborn when it comes down to somebody that's gossiping and talking shit about you, possibly. Or you're trying to tell somebody that someone around them is like this. Or something. Or whoever this is that's gossiping and talking shit about you is stuck in their ways. Okay, let's just see. Page of Cups and the Sun. I mean, the Moon. Some of you guys have good news here. Or somebody here wants to come towards you to apologize or, or something like that. But it's something that's hidden here. There could be a child. Or somebody fears opening up, fears sharing how they truly feel. Capricorn, Ju I mean, Capricorn Sun. Somebody could have a Capricorn in Jupiter, but Capricorn Sun here with the Four of Pentacles. So, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like somebody.
somebody's really having a problem getting away from a particular person because they don't know their own self-worth and value is literally what I'm getting. Somebody here too could be, um, has a scarce mindset. This could be poverty here. Somebody's losing money or losing a job or something like that. Somebody's abusing their power and position of authority here with somebody. Okay, so let's see what's emotionally unavailable with naughty pictures. Okay, yeah, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine. So yeah, whoever this is is an opportunist or a user, a gold digger, that's a man. Somebody here is a cheater. Okay, this could be some sort of exploitation here. Somebody could be exploiting you with your pictures. Hmm. Using your pictures here to exploit you. I'm definitely getting exploitation. What the fuck is this emotionally unavailable with naughty pictures? King of Pentacles reverse. The temperance reverse, so an imbalance. <clears throat> Discord and disharmony. Sagittarius. Somebody's doing something in excess with your photos. Libra. Somebody could be masturbating excessively to your photos or they're doing something to get money off your photos. Hmm. Yeah, there you are. So this is your ex doing this? What's this King of Pentacles reverse? This person is very self-indulgent. All they care about is themselves. Yeah, it's a whole group of people here. Six of Wands in reverse? Doing something here to the Empress. Oh, okay. So let's get into it then. <laughs> let's see what the fuck going on here. I feel like people got you fucked up because they don't know that you're a divine feminine. Whether you got naughty pictures or not, you're a divine feminine. I feel like that's a, a hard for a lot of people to understand or grasp. And I feel like, bitch, just grasp it. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Somebody's like, oh, you got naughty pictures somewhere. You can't be a divine feminine. Then, bitch, why the fuck is this man so pressed? Somebody making some money off your pictures or something like that. But this could be a group of people here with ill intentions. Somebody here is a clout chaser. Somebody here is behind a fake page here, Libra. I feel like once you find out who the fuck is exploiting you, or this could be bribery in some shape, form, or fashion, honey, you could take this to court. All right? Yeah, look, as soon as I said court, justice in the reverse and get money off of it. Yeah, for somebody trying to defame your character or somebody trying to do something for clout, they asking where you get in trouble or whatever this is. Or they're doing, this something, they're doing something spiritually to your photos, one or the other. What the fuck is this King of Pentacles reverse, Six of Wands reverse? So whoever this is, they need a lot of attention or validation or they'll just do anything for attention. And I feel like whatever they're doing, they're still broke. They're not making any money. If they're trying to sell your pictures or something like that, they're not making any money from it. What's King of Pentacles reverse, Six of Wands reverse? How the fuck are you still broke? Yeah, the chariot. Okay, yeah, so whoever this is, this King of Pentacles in reverse is doing something illegal. There's, the police could be getting involved here with these people. Okay, but the chariot, you know, just talks about you receiving some sort of victory. You triumphant, overcoming obstacles and challenges here with the, with the chariot. Love winning over hate because this Six of Wands in reverse is a bunch of hateful ass hoes. With no fucking home training. Or this is just one person. What's the chariot? Yeah, the nine of cups in reverse. Pisces, Jupiter. So yeah, somebody trying to defame your character with your naughty pictures. With the nine of cups in reverse, somebody does too have addictions or they have some sort of sex addiction or they're addicted to like how you look, your body, something like that. Like this person, <clears throat> I'm getting chills. What's the chariot with the nine of cups reverse? Pisces, Jupiter. 
Yeah, the Three of Swords. Libra, Saturn. So yeah, this Nine of Cups in reverse is somebody that's miserable, unhappy, they're in their ego, and they feed into their addictions. This could be sex for some of you. Somebody got a really bad sex addiction. I keep getting that. Libra, Saturn. So this is a breakup. So somebody's heartbroken about a breakup. Or they're heartbroken because their wish or whatever this is didn't get fulfilled. Yeah, and now they could be getting ready to get in trouble. Also with a whole bunch of people. What's the Six of Wands reverse? Because a whole bunch of other people is involved in this. Okay, yeah, look, they're all nervous. They're all scared. Yeah, because somebody here could be getting ready to go to jail. Or they're getting ready to go to spiritual jail. One or the other. Yeah, so a lot of fear, a lot of nervousness here. Yeah, from all this divination spying or the black magic attacks on your pictures, your photos. <laughs> this is Temperance Reverse. The Queen of Souls Reverse. So this person could be getting into it with this Queen of Souls in reverse. This Queen of Souls could be telling somebody or giving somebody bad advice on what to do, how to do something. There's a whole damn smear campaign. Flying monkeys here. <laughs> this is a mess. Somebody knows something is wrong, but they're steady letting them do it anyways, or they're doing it anyways. This queen of swords in reverse is causing chaos and mess by giving somebody the wrong advice or um, um, gossiping, lying. This person is being overly critical, being very judgmental towards somebody because they're a jealous loser and because they don't look as half as good as you. Somebody's jealous. What's this Queen of Souls reverse? Temperance in the reverse. Okay, yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, so somebody, because somebody's not interested in her dumb ass. That's why. <laughs> somebody's not interested in this Queen of Souls in reverse. There's a lack of interest or a loss of interest here. Or somebody, I keep getting to in these readings, somebody's, their pee pee? It's not, it's not working no more because somebody has excessively masturbated to you so much. For some of you that they just, they don't have it left in them. If they if they was doing spell work or if they're masturbating and doing sex magic with the intention of blocking you and taking something from you through sex magic, abusing and actually rape your sacral chakra through magic, they getting ready to get fucked up for that shit. That's just period. There's somebody here, Queen of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Wands in reverse. This person is trying to curse you, your sacral chakra or something. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands in reverse is somebody here that's trapped or stuck. Or there's some disinterest. Somebody's an, an uh, antagonist. Somebody's like trying to antagonize you. What the fuck is this? What's this Ace of Wands reverse? I just, I don't know, Libra. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Wands reverse Nine of Pentacles? Virgo, Venus, the Page of Wands. Excuse me. So this is you breaking free of something here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is a new exciting beginning or this is you having new exciting plans. You feel passionate about wherever you're going or cheerful i feel like there could be some sort of good news coming to you about a business or this could be like some sort of property a home maybe a child nine of pentacles page wands is definitely conception of giving birth to a baby or something like that so either this is an actual baby or a project So somebody is stuck. They're stuck. They're not able to get through to something. They're not able to do something. What's this? What's this? Give me more on Queen of Souls reverse. The sun. Yes. The sun, the nine of pentacles, and the page of wands. There's definitely a child here. This could be a boy. So congrats. Mm. 
Leo energy, but yeah, something here could be being exposed or this is freedom. You're free from something. Yeah, because whoever this is, they've been exploiting you in some sort of way. And I feel like it's through magic. They've been using your pictures or your photos to get something for themselves to manifest off of. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're free. What's the Queen of Swords reverse with the sun? And the Eight of Wands. Yeah, moving forward here. In a positive direction or definitely a lot of good news here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, Libra. Hold on. My bad, Libra. Yeah, the high priestess, the ace of swords, the lovers. I feel like some sort of curse has been broken here, honey. You've been free from something that somebody has been doing to you for a while now. Yeah, there you are, Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is Archangel Michael. Yeah. So let's see. What's um egotistic person in the reverse with playing with fire? Somebody here, yeah, the high priestess. Pisces, you can have Pisces in your chart. What's this here with the high priestess? The eight of cups. So yeah, you're walking away from something because you see the bigger picture here. This is you maybe spending time in solitude or um, you're trying to listen to your intuition about something, but I feel like your intuition has guided you in the right direction has guided you away from whatever this is because somebody been doing it secretly and they think they slick and they're not this king of pentacles in the fucking reverse and this queen of swords in the reverse working together to do something here to your photos okay what's the high priestess yeah attacking you attacking the high priestess this is knight of swords in the reverse gemini energy mm-hmm being impulsive somebody's a follower so somebody listen to the advice of this bitter ass queen of swords in reverse could be another libra but it could be gemini aquarius too i get all three air signs with the queen of swords in reverse like i do with the king of swords <sighs> what a shame so somebody's attacking you subconsciously they're doing something spiritual i'm, I'm picking it i'm picking it up with your photos, they're doing rituals around it or somebody's doing excessive masturbating to your photos to gain something for themselves. Okay, period. Hmm. What a loser. <laughs> like, hold on, Libra. So, what fail? What's this damn uh, high priestess with the Knight of Swords reverse? Yeah, look. Extortion. Bribery? So somebody was bribed to do this to you here. Somebody abusing their power and position of authority. Somebody here that's a follower attacking you. Um, someone here that don't see your worth or your value here. They just see you as something that could help them out in the long run <laughs> with their money, their finances. Somebody's a fucking loser. This energy pissing me off, really. I'm getting irritated, but it is what the fuck it is, isn't it? So, yeah, this could be gifts with strings attached or, yeah, somebody got paid to do this shit to you. With a group of people or a group of people paid this person or whatever the fuck this is, right? And somebody followed and, and did it or... Definitely just, I don't know, man. What's Six Pentacles reverse, Taurus Moon? The Seven of Pentacles. Or this is when you didn't understand your value and your worth at a particular time in your life. And somebody took advantage of that weak point, they attacked you subconsciously. Taurus Saturn with the Seven of Pentacles. 
Yeah, so this is like some sort of investment or somebody here could be losing their job though, losing a lot of money. Somebody's losing the power that they had. What's the what's the six of pentacles reverse seven of pentacles? So this is a lot of money too. From abusing their power and position of authority, they made a lot of money off of this. What's this damn six of pentacles reverse seven of pentacles? Yeah, look, the Empress, I'm telling you, your your sacral energy, your abundance, your fertility, whatever, whatever. Okay, but for some of you guys, you could be investing into something. Seven of Pentacles is you looking at something, reviewing something. Something here is growing, it's being nurtured, or you're nurturing yourself here. This is like self-love, self-care. Definitely for those of you that are pregnant, I'm seeing it. Okay, period. So, I feel like this is the wrong time to be doing this attack. They trying to do this shit again. I feel like this shit can right back fire hard, especially for those of you that are actually pregnant. Libra, Taurus, you got Taurus in your chart too. Yeah, somebody just sees you as something that's going to help them out in the long run. They're just using your energy for their own come up. And I feel like Spirit getting ready to tap that ass. Some of you guys are also in a connection here that you're well invested into. The Seven of Pentacles is a payout. It's um inheritance. Yeah, I feel like these people, they don't know you're a divine feminine. They just look at you as something like, because I guess you have naughty pictures somewhere. So they're like, yeah, well, they're a nobody or they're nobody special. I feel like, honestly, if you really think about it, most people that um, are dancers or strippers or whatever this is, dancers. Oh, I just said something like this in Divine Feminist reading. Most most women that do OnlyFans work or whatever whatever it is that you might do, they're very, very much so a Divine Feminine. <laughs> like they really, truly are. Those are people that are really in tune with their sexuality. It just depends because there's levels to it, right? Like, it just depends on the kind of person that you are and what position God puts you in to do certain things. Because I feel like you're meant to teach these bitches a lesson. You're not the one to be fucked with. Somebody here think that you, uh, I don't know what they think, but they thought wrong. That's a fact. So you're investing in something and using your own energy now to grow something out or to do something. And it's like these bitches that keep on trying to attack you, they can really get fucked up. What's the, what's the Eight of Cups? So I can move on and give y'all some oracles. Yeah, look, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. Somebody is a coward, but you already know what somebody is doing with the High Priestess. What's the Eight of Cups with the Hierophant? Definitely the Hierophant. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Gotta sneeze. <sighs> Bless me. So the Hierophant with the Ten of Wands. Sag, Saturn, soul, stress, burdens. I feel like, yeah, with the Hierophant coming out like this, you gain some sort of wisdom or knowledge here about your journey, about your own self-worth and values and things like that. The Ten of Wands is like, um, this could have something to do with that sacral chakra energy, carrying around a lot of just stress or burdens or hurt or pain or betrayal. It's just like sitting there. It's like dead weight here that needs to be cleared. Seven of Pentacles is like patience. You could be waiting for something, Divine Feminine. There's something that you're trying to listen to your intuition about. <clears throat> And maybe you're needing to walk away to figure out how you want to do something. Some of you guys are being tested right now to do something. You could be with a, your counterpart. Let's see. What's the Ten of Wands, man? Or this fake dumbass sitting up here within the Ten of Wands. I don't even have the energy to curse these hoes out today. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> like, I'm really not. I'm really not. What's the Ten of Wands? It's like, I want to curse them out so bad, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Um, because I really don't have nothing nice to say. And y'all know how my mouth get. It get real reckless and nasty. I ain't even trying to do all that right now. What's Ten of Wands? Yeah, this King of Souls in reverse, a liar. So somebody is carrying the heavy burden or heavy burden or dead weight around. Yeah, somebody here's a liar. King of Souls, Queen of Souls in reverse. What the fuck is the Ten of Wands? So somebody here know what they did. They're carrying something around that they need to release. What's this 
What's this Ten of Wands with the King of Swords in reverse? A lie or somebody really has something to say, but they can't say it because their throat chakra is blocked. What's Ten of Wands with the King of Swords in reverse? Somebody's being really inauthentic or raggedy. Yeah, somebody here wants to apologize or express themselves. Somebody admires you or something like that with this um with this page of what's the page of cups? The four of four of cups reverse. What's page of cups, four of cups reverse? The two of cups. Yeah, some of you guys, this could be a marriage proposal. A love offer of some sort, or this could be you opening yourself up to new love or you're in this relationship with your person. It could be a child, too. I keep channeling children. But I feel like um, you're moving out of a stalemate or you seizing an opportunity here to make amends with your soulmate or you're already in a soulmate connection. Something is now moving forward. It's moving out of a stalemate. So this, what's the King of Swords reverse? What's their problem, man? Yeah, the hermit. Yeah, so now somebody's quiet or they're ghosting or it's like now they don't know what to say. <laughs> they don't know what to say. Somebody here lied on you. Or this could be somebody here that spied on you for somebody else. They try to get research. They try to research you or get information about you by looking into your life or whatever. <sighs> yeah, somebody judged you harshly with the seven with the judgment in the reverse. It's a lot of malicious gossip. And false accusations. Somebody here is weak as fuck. They don't have a backbone. Yeah, all because you're sexy as fuck and you're the queen of wands. Yeah, you look good. And you could have maybe sent this person all your pictures or you showed them pictures of you or you whatever this is. Somebody got your pictures. Or... I feel like you was brought to this person to help them do some sort of shadow work, but instead they just turned out to be inauthentic and, and false and rude and raggedy. Along with this Queen of Swords in reverse. So what I'm getting, I, I, I got this for your last reading or the reading before last, honey. This King of Pentacles in reverse has teamed up with this Queen of Swords in reverse, this hateful ass bitch, to do something. to This Queen of Swords in reverse could be this King of Swords in reverse's ex. Or they together. They both in a karmic relationship. You were meant to help this King of Swords get out of something with this Queen of Swords in reverse, but instead they turn their back on you because this King of Pentacles in reverse could have gossiped about you or spread rumors about you along with this Queen of Swords. Somehow they linked up or got together or something like that. Yeah, to exploit you and say nasty things about you to ruin a connection that I feel like it's not even yours no way. That's what I'm saying. Like these people, they look dumb as fuck every time. Every single time here. Virgo energy with the Hermit. Somebody here got somebody to be, be an informant or get information. Like, this is crazy. Oh, this to set somebody up that's not even set up. That's somebody that's still getting whatever the fuck they're going to get. <laughs> still celebrating. Like, somebody here wasted um, their time. Give me a second, y'all. They wasted their time. <laughs> some shit going on some good shit not bad but you know having to take a little break sorry about that so yeah what is uh what the fuck is this 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 something is really shifting in the energy too to where it's though like it's like i don't know how to really describe whatever this is i'm feeling I just feel like you're over everybody. It's, you just really don't give a fuck. You don't. What's gossiping, talking, stubborn? 
I just feel like you're so at peace with the situation or you made peace with something. You already know some dumb shit going on. Everybody running around hiding, looking stupid as fuck. I feel like, you know, people have fucked you over and you don't give a fuck no more. You don't give a fuck what happened to them. You don't give a fuck as long as they get out of your life and out of your energy. You don't care. You don't care. So anyways, I don't know. And these could be these people. They don't have to be linking up. I just feel like this may be telling your story. I don't know, man. But we got Gemini, Jupiter with the Eight of Swords. So now somebody is scared or they stuck or they're trapped. They're silenced. Now somebody want to be quiet. Or they trying to silence you. What's gossiping, talking, and stubborn? Or they feel restricted. Yeah, there's Trump card reverse. So somebody feels inadequate or insecure or they have low self-esteem. This could be somebody that views vulnerability as a weakness. Somebody's insecure as fuck with a raggedy ass. I'm just sick of seeing all these fucking people, really. Like, I feel like this this King of Swords, yeah, they, they judged you too. This King of Swords in reverse, they judged you and they ghosted you with the ten of, with the Hermit. So now they sitting in, I feel like they regretful. Ten of, ten of Wands because they know what they did. But something is moving out of a stalemate for you and your relationship. And it's damn sure not this queen, this King of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. You're with somebody else actively. You're actively investing into something or you will be. So yeah, I feel like somebody's learning a lesson. Are they getting ready to? We have the high priestess to the hierophant, so definitely counterparts. What the fuck is the um what is the eight of swords? Okay, the five of swords in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody feels ashamed. I feel like somebody's beating themselves up for something. Somebody feels ashamed or embarrassed or humiliated. Somebody's being publicly humiliated, or somebody's going to jail. Eight of swords, five of swords reverse, somebody's getting arrested. They're going to jail. <laughs> Let's see. Eight of Swords with the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, the Death card reverse. Scorpio. I feel like somebody is being silenced or somebody is trying to stop someone from saying something to you or telling you the truth about something. I feel like somebody wants to clear up a misunderstanding but I don't know if they've changed their ways or whatever. Or somebody just won't release somebody else. Somebody's refusing to change or transform with the death card reverse. I feel like someone's embarrassed. What's this death card reverse? Y'all bitches are so fucking... Maybe something is not over for you here with the death card reverse. What's the death card reverse? Will of Fortune or somebody won't release you. They won't let you go. The justice reverse. No, oh, okay. Yeah, somebody getting some bad karma or whoever this is, they won't take accountability for what the fuck they did. And the will is turning. I feel like the will is turning in your favor. Some of y'all getting ready to take somebody to court for something or they getting ready to go to court for something. I don't know what the fuck. But I feel like the wheel is turning in your favor. This is good karma, good fortune, or things are changing. It just is. And somebody here won't release you or something is not over. And somebody else is getting bad karma. What's justice reverse? Libra. This could be another Libra involved. Okay, the four of pentacles. What's the justice reverse? Four of pentacles. Capricorn sun. And the queen of wands. Yeah, Aries here. Three of Cups. So yeah, I feel like this is you feeling good, feeling confident about where you want to go. I feel like somebody's like greedy, they're selfish, they're possessive. Somebody is still holding on to your energy here for dear life, even after what they did. Like somebody is just so fucking pathetic, man, I'm telling you. Or somebody's keeping something close to their chest. This could be you um, holding back from something or keeping something close to your chest. This is like, what's this Four of Pentacles? I just really pity people at this point. What's Four of Pentacles? I don't even really, I don't know. Yeah, the devil in the reverse. Yeah, you detach from this devil energy. You detach from something and now you feel confident, you feel whole, you feel complete within yourself. Yeah, so whatever this magic is right here, whatever this curse is, getting ready to fucking backfire. Somebody here did all this fucking magic on you, not knowing what your journey entails, how things are getting ready to go. They took advantage of you when you were at your lowest. This King of Pentacles over here did. 
I feel, I feel like the lesson here, these people here judged you based off your looks. These people judged you based off your looks. They did. I, I feel like they underestimated you. They didn't think, think that you was going to grow and expand or do something different with your life. They used your past against you, whatever the fuck you did. And I feel like now they all look dumb as fuck. They all look stupid and they can all kiss your fucking ass. Your white ass, your black ass, whatever color you are. They can kiss it and keep it the fuck moving. I don't understand why they keep popping up in your energy for with this weak ass shit that they doing. What's the Queen of Wands? Something is moving forward for you and they're still like not taking accountability or they still, they getting ready to go through the worst kind of karma and they're still doing shit. What's the Queen of Wands? It's like, bitch, y'all some, yeah, some Said he trying to gossip about you, curse you, hex you, doing shit for money or like whatever to block your money. It's just like pathetic. I just really don't understand. What's the shrimp car reverse? And then you get fucked up and then you still do it. It's just like, bitch, y'all hoes, clearly you ain't got shit to lose. You're not going to come up off this person though. So I'm getting ready to be over. Somebody here definitely stabbed you in the back and the wheel is turning because the police could be significant here. I feel like somebody's getting ready to get locked up. Because somebody's still on some fuck shit. What's this damn strong card in the reverse? The star. What's strong card reverse with the star? Aquarius. The fool. Yeah, you're free. Strong Aquarian energy. You're free. Something is changing here unexpectedly with this Uranus energy. Some of you guys could be up and coming stars or you're seeing in a public eye or you're healing from something internally. And you're free from whatever this is that was... That was hurting you or i feel like you don't give a fuck about somebody gossiping about you or trying to hex you for none of it's working yeah the page of pentacles reverse with the emperor in the reverse i just feel like yeah you're free from this and this shit is too weak for you to even be it's not working on you basically so <sighs> libra what deck I want to pull from? Let's see. I like this deck. Yeah, this they last time doing that shit. They getting ready to get caught up and get in trouble. Especially if somebody's selling your pictures making money off of it they're probably making tons of money too because of how sacred your energy is you're a divine feminine so you can make money like that off your energy like that's nothing it's not up to them to do it though it's for you to make those decisions about your body and yourself so if you want to sell pictures do something naked that's on you somebody here's a fucking loser give me a car here I ain't even trying to go there today, man. I don't have the energy. The sun, exactly. Your soul's purpose. This was all a part of the plan. You were meant to sell pictures, be a dancer, work on OnlyFans, or whatever the fuck this is. And somebody here got, like, they really have the nerve to be fucking exploiting you. What else? Pluto, endings and regeneration, exactly. Somebody could be 31. I'm 31. Somebody could be 22. The Black Madonna, Sacred Dark Goddess Mother, period. Number 18, here the moon. Saturn, age, reality, and discipline. Black Moon, Lilith, and Libra, you deserve violence. Intuition, the moon, intuition and emotional healing. Yeah, some of you guys could be, you could be preggers. There's a baby here. Libra. <sighs> it says the primordial dark mother goddess is a powerful archetype that has been venerated in ancient cultures throughout the world. For example, Isis, Hecate, Lilith, Kalima, and the Black Madonna. When the Black Madonna shows up, it's time to surrender. The dark mother of creation is always working for your highest good, even though it may not feel like it at times. The key is to take a deep breath, release, and allow everything to fall away that isn't in alignment. The Black Madonna is showing you that chaos is just another form of divine creation in the universe and an indicator that new beginnings are taking shape. 
Feelings of doubt and impatience can come up. You also may receive healing support from divine feminine or maternal figures in the form of financial, professional, or life guidance. Accept the help you need from them. It's a gift to help you on your journey. The Black Madonna is a controversial artistic depiction of the Virgin Mary. Her origins are theorized to be of African origin, perhaps based on pagan dark earth mother deities. Racism rules the church's narrative. European clergy, which, I mean, would whitewash her image with paint and explain the candle suit or age caused the skin to turn dark. The controversy over the Black Madonna is another example of how the religious patriarchy has demonized dark, femi dark divine feminine figures. Yeah, they place value and importance on the immaculate conception, virginity, and woman's role to remain pure and submissive. The Virgin Mary was packaged to represent submission and obedience, while the Black Madonna depiction is linked with dark feminine strength and power. Scholars have argued that the church's denial that the Virgin Mary is indeed Black was the religious patriarchy's way of painting the dark mother of creation in a subservient and pure, pure light. Mm. The universe is here to heal and protect you. Surrender and know it's working for your highest good. Yeah. So whatever this stereotype is, whatever this message, somebody, like I said, it's just about your looks and the things that you do. You feel confident in who you are, your body, you look good, you're comfortable in your skin. You're automatically labeled a hoe if you're a dancer. You're automatically labeled, labeled a hoe if you're an only fan, if you're on only fans, posting naked pictures or whatever the fuck that is that you're doing. It don't fucking matter. It don't matter. Somebody here feels like they're going to rule over you or try to like because you won't give them anything or because you don't want to fuck with them. They feel like they're going to just do. I feel like, yeah, they can really get fucked up. So it don't even matter. Really, divine feminine, masculine, whoever you are. It don't matter. It really don't. <clears throat> so the endings and regeneration card, it said misalignment can manifest physically as an uneasy feeling in the pit of your stomach. Pluto can sense this and likes to break everything down and remove what no longer serves you. It teaches us that beginnings and endings are intrinsically, 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 whatever, tied together. It is a natural cycle of life. Hidden wealth, inheritance, and debts are also a part of Pluto, indicating change in this area of life. Allow this transformative wave to pass over you. It will wash away the shadows that have held you back from activating your light. In ancient Greco-Roman mythology, Pluto was the lord of the underworld and hidden wealth, also known as Hades in Greece. He presided over Earth's lower realms and the rich gems, minerals, and metals found in the ground. Pluto is the planetary ruler of the fixed water sign of Scorpio. Scorpio rules alchemy, sex, death, rebirth, psychology, the occult, secrets, and transformation. While it is a malefic planet and can be difficult, there is much to gain when your Pluto is integrated, as it can unlock your soul's hidden riches. Pluto is a generational planet in astrology, so each age group has the same Pluto sign. While Pluto can create chaos, it also brings to light what we have swept under the rug to be healed. Understanding Pluto in your own life is tremendous shadow work, and integrating yours can lead to personal empowerment and evolution. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going through a regeneration here, uh, Libra. This this shit right here is what is it? Um, whatever the stereotype is that somebody put on you, I feel like it don't matter because you're still standing in your power. I feel like you're good. Let me see. I'm gonna see something real quick. Yeah, it's happening to your energy is their addiction and personality disorder. They don't know how to be themselves. Yeah, this is somebody here that's all in your fucking... They just raggedy as fuck here. It's like, I really just feel like they raggedy. Just King of Souls reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, man. I feel like they're all the same people, to be honest. And X is the one sending negative energy towards you. This your ex? Yeah. Selling your pictures, trying to, um, yeah. Intimacy issues, STD, common infections, UTI, infertility, planning your fucking sacral chakra. Doing something to your pictures, excessively masturbating to them or trying to bind themselves to your, your womb, trying to bind themselves. Like the person causing you negativity is an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn with that King of Pentacles up there in the reverse. Yeah, 
trying to fuck it. This person here, this is the kind of person that will watch you, study you, and then try to figure out what, where, where your weak points at so they can fucking use it to their advantage. That's extortion. And also exploitation. They're doing both, really. There's a whole bunch of people involved, too, with the Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, their evil intentions will fail. Yeah, somebody's a fucking loser, man. This fucking man right here, they gonna get what they deserve. That's for a fact. Karma is, is striking now. With the wheel turning and the justice in the reverse right there, somebody getting ready to get some bad karma. The universe is doing what the fuck the universe need to do. With somebody here getting ready to go to jail. They really are. For betraying you or stabbing you in the back. Something is coming into abrupt, to an abrupt ending here. What's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Trickster spirit. Yeah, sudden loss of memory. Things end up missing. They're jealous and in competition with you as a grown-ass man. Causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions, mood swings. I feel like they're being they're being told to do something by a trickster spirit. But this is Queen of Swords in reverse. They're the ones causing chaos and conflict, trying to get this person to go against you or whatever. But it's like, bitch, you grown. I don't, don't want to hear that shit. So we have Pyrite. Help shield you from harmful effects that technology can have on the mind and body. So you can need a crystal Pyrite. Very good crystal. It helps with your money too. A good money crystal, but unexplained freak accident so this person could be trying to cause one or this is they ass that got into one okay we have amethyst here for trying to play with you okay psychic protection controls spiritual energies while dreaming and can help with insomnia and nightmares putting negative thoughts in your head what's this unexplained freak accident this is what happened when you have an evil like energy you can be easily persuaded to do nasty shit to people. Build a bitch, major copycat, and envious of your career and the money you make. Yeah, so what's the Queen of Swords reverse? What this bitch do? <laughs> okay, yeah, look, trying to bring you legal troubles. Uh, okay. Causing you car problems, flat tires, engine shutdown, dead battery, broken mirrors, dents and scratches in the reverse. So this ain't happened to you with unexplained freak accident over here clarifying the King of Pentacles. This they ass that could have gotten into an accident or they will. They will because somebody's trying to curse and hex you and it's going back on this King of Pentacles reverse. They're working together to do this to you. So now this person could be actually getting ready to go to jail because of some sort of accident that they got in with the other person. Whoever they got into an accident with. Maybe somebody could have been high and driving, drugged up and driving, drunk and driving. Or I don't know what the fuck happened. But somebody definitely getting ready to go to jail though. And this is the universe. This was meant to happen this way. And they don't have no fucking energy or no no whatever to help them out of this situation either. They getting ready to go their ass to jail. They're telling people you're fake. They're mad because they want to hate you but can't help but sneak love you. Sending their money, spending their money on spell work that never works. Exactly. What else for this Queen of Swords in reverse? Somebody here is a follower and listen to this old ass raggedy bitch run her mouth about you or tell them how to, how to do nasty things to you and the bitch listen. So, okay, now they're getting ready to get karma. So it says they can't understand your level of knowledge, sending you the evil eye and your high energy pisses them off. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, they will disappear when shit hits the fan. Their spell work is affecting them. Exactly. So now somebody's going ghost. Somebody, This person could be being... Could be under could be uh under investigation. Or this is your spirit team investigating this bitch. But yeah. Somebody's having legal troubles. What's this Empress here? <laughs> yeah, recharge your energy. Somebody's trying to recharge their energy off of your energy. Like, that's not going to work, honey bun. Yeah, you're protected. Keep a protection pouch on or with you. Even if you don't have one, you're protected. Maybe Spirit just telling you to get one just because it'll help. It'll be extra. But it's a distance yourself. Take a break. Vacation. Pamper. Indulgence. Do the things that make you happy. Yeah, it's not too much of a happy time for this bitch. I bet you it's not. Fake friend since the beginning. Yeah, and inboxing your followers trying to turn them against you. 
So basically, this is something that's going on online. They're doing something with your pictures online. This is somebody that's been fake since the beginning, whether they be a friend, an ex, or whoever the bitch is, causing chaos and fights in your love connections. What else for this interest? Sending you dark spirits or demons to work against or trick you. Unhealthy obsession with you. Haters will always gaslight you. <laughs> They are being punished for your for their wrongdoings. Your God-given abilities irritates them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I just wanted to pull from that just to see. I was going to pull from this too. How many minutes we got? I guess it don't matter. Let me see something real quick. <laughs> okay. Libra. <clears throat> Give me more on this. Yeah, gossip. The first card, advocate and Don Juan. Spotlights your positive, seductive qualities. The shadow attribute, and they're in the shadow, so we're going to read the shadow side for they bitch ass. Using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Exactly. Thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. Advocate. The shadow attribute is embracing negative causes or committing to cause for personal gain. Extortion? What is this uh, King of Pentacles reverse? Okay, so this shit, that's the wrong card. What's King Pentacle Reverse? Okay, so we have Avenger. The light attributes are desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. The shadow attribute is resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Yeah, so this is them in the shadow. Gambler, the shadow attribute is relying on luck rather than hard work. Yeah, somebody here was broke. And they did something here because it was broke, I guess. Servant, the shadow attribute is using the lack of money as an excuse to as an excuse not to move forward with life. <laughs> What's this King of Pentacles reverse? Prostitute. The shadow attribute places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. And then we have fool here. The shadow attribute is using humor to wound rather than liberate. Denial of your emotional truth. Yeah. What's the Queen of Swords in reverse? Martyr came out reverse. So you're definitely not a martyr here. You're not. But the shadow attribute for martyr is addiction to self-pity. That's in the reverse. Learn The light attribute is learning to transcend. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Yeah, it just came out reverse. So poet, the shadow attribute is turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effect. Yeah, this is somebody speaking nasty, negative shit over you. The light attribute is expressive soul insights and symbolic language. Child, child, the divine. It says the shadow attribute is inability to defend oneself against negative forces. Yeah, so you decided to not be a martyr here. So this is you in a light attribute. You express soul insights and symbolic language here. Yeah, so you, you express yourself in a different way than what you used to do in your past. So if that's a, so yeah, somebody like somebody is trying to make you feel bad about how you how you self express. And you could have done that by being a dancer. That's a form of art, ain't it? Like somebody here really think that they somebody is a fucking loser, bro. I'm just so I, I really just am really disgusted. I I don't really don't even know what to say. Like I really don't have nothing. I, this is the first time I ever felt like I can't curse somebody out. Maybe spirit is like, yeah, I don't know. I, this is the first time I really don't feel the need to curse nobody out, and which is a tall tale sign that this shit is coming to an end. And you guys are getting justice for this. We all are, because I'm definitely a big part of the collective, and this has definitely happened to me. Okay, word for word. So I mean, I I don't know. I don't know, man.
And some of you guys, you didn't even do OnlyFans or you didn't do, you didn't dance. But I feel like you probably sent somebody something in Confidant. And somebody here took your shit and tried to like revenge porn or they did something dumb. Or did spell work on you to block your manifestations. Using your sacred sexual energy to block you and shit like that. Something that you probably seen as a way to express yourself. This bitch seen it as a way that that's, they could be a pimp. And you could be a hoe type thing. Like somebody's a fucking loser, man. I'm telling you. Somebody's a fucking clown. Real bad. I don't know what else to say. But the child, it says divine. The light attributes are innocence, purity, and redemption. Suggest a special connection with the divine and that you have. Then we have child again, magical. Light attributes are seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things. The belief that everything is possible. The shadow attribute for the child divine. It says an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. Yeah, that's this person over here. They need to grow the fuck up. And they're being used by a trickster spirit to hurt you. And this is why they ask him to get fucked up and this queen of swords in the fucking reverse. This is a, a lame ass little bitch. They getting ready to get fucked up too. The shadow attributes of child, magical, pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. Believing that energy and action are not required for growth. <laughs> Samaritan. The light attribute is refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. The shadow attribute is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer damsel at the bottom of the deck the light attributes are understanding the, the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself and the shadow attributes are waiting for a night to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion i'm also getting this can go in different ways too with child here twice Somebody's having self-expression issues. If this King of Souls reverse is with this Queen of Souls in reverse, they're stuck with this person. And you're breaking free from this person that tried to make you a prostitute or something like that. It's like, this could be two different stories, but the same story, yeah, storyteller. The same story, but, but different people showing up. This King of Souls, Queen of Souls could be um one couple. And this king, of so this king of Pentacles over here is somebody that did this shit to you in your past. And it could be happening to this King of Swords or King of, or this Queen of Swords. But I feel like this Queen of Swords is a nasty ass bitch. And this King of Swords right here is trying to get away with the Hermit. Yeah, they're way down and they're in a bunch of mess with this king, with this Queen of Swords in reverse. So it's two situations. I feel like that King of Pentacles in reverse is, maybe they could be the same. I don't fucking know. But that King of Pentacles in reverse could be somebody that you dated that take advantage of you and you got you broke free from it you did what you're supposed to do and this is this king of souls in reverse could be somebody that's still trying to learn maybe they're learning from you because you're a poet and you're not you, you didn't decide to stay a martyr so i feel like you was designed or your purpose was to help this person awaken but they're they they got lost along the way they're not awakened they're still not being inauthentic. I mean, they're still not being authentic. They're still carrying something around or they still have a, a blockage here within them. So that probably stopped you and this person's connection. But I feel like it was meant to stop anyway because now whatever you're investing in is a part of your purpose. Well, this was a part of your purpose too, but you wasn't meant to be with this person. It was meant to go this way for a reason. Somebody here doesn't have the strength or the courage to be the star and the fool. They don't have the strength and the courage to break free of what you broke free from. I feel like you have a testimony to tell somebody and this this hateful ass queen of swords in reverse keep on trying to block this person with child here twice. They're in the beginning stages of learning how to speak up for themselves with poet and express themselves properly. Yeah, it's like this person is likes to live in the shadows. They don't want to speak up for themselves or they don't want to whatever. I feel like that's that's on them. So I feel like you're clearing this energy out out of your life as well as this king of swords in reverse because that's the person that's really seeking revenge on you all this person did was send you to this king of swords in reverse whether they learned their lesson or not you did <laughs> you got the lesson from both people and you're moving on with your life somebody here resorted to violence to try to like bind you or block you and ruin your love connections and connect you probably to people with, with like doing magic to keep you binded or stuck or to keep you in this low self-esteem shadow energy somebody keep on trying to like bring up your past or use your past against you as you're trying to grow and heal somebody's a fucking loser they're a loser and then they saw that they're laughing about it 
using humor to wound rather than liberate denial of your emotional truth. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like it's just a lot going on. These connections, they could all be together. They could all be separate, whatever the fuck. Let me know in the comments, Libra. But, you know, it just, I just don't feel the need to do all that. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> like, I just don't got time. Somebody's a loser. They all are, really. I don't, it is what it is. It is what it is. What uh, deck should I pull from, sir? Uh, oh, okay, I already did. I'm tripping. I already read. I'm, I'm tripping. So, okay, yeah, we're done. <laughs> so, this was your reading, Libra. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Let me know in the comments what this is. Like, comment, uh, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.